In this video, I want to introduce you to modulus argument form. So we've been introduced to finding the modulus and argument of a complex number. So that's half the battle. Writing a complex number in, arg in modulus argument form is the final stage of this. Okay. So when I write uh, a complex number in the form of x plus i, y, we refer to this as Cartesian form. Okay, so um, Cartesian coming from uh, Descartes, um, the idea of a Cartesian grid, so x and y coordinates. Okay, um, going into modulus argument form, it's a different way of interpreting the same thing. Okay, um, and including both of those two ideas, both mo modulus and argument, obviously. So, let's visualise. So here's our argand diagram. Okay, and we've got our complex number z equals x plus i y. Okay, so this is a complex number that is going x along the real axis and y up the imaginary axis. OK, so this is my angle, which I'll write in as theta. And I'll also write in uh, its length as r. OK, so effectively what I'm saying is that the modulus of z is equal to r. And the argument of z is equal to theta. OK? Now, what I want to be clear on, OK, is that this is a right-angled triangle, OK? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it so that it's clear that x is the base length of the triangle and y is the height of the triangle, OK? Now, if you were to use a bit of basic trigonometry, soccer tower, OK? then you could say that sine of your angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So y over r. So if you multiply both sides by the r, you'd be able to say that y is r sine theta. Likewise, I could say that cosine theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so x over r. So x is r cosine theta. Now, if I was to replace the x and the y here with those, I would get r cosine theta plus i r sine theta. Now, if you factor out the r, you have r lots of cosine theta plus i sine theta. And this is modulus argument form. So it contains r. So the modulus and the angle is contained in here. OK, so this is the alternative way of writing a complex number. And in the exam, you could be asked to uh, write a complex number in modulus argument form or vice versa. Uh, go from that back into Cartesian form. And we're going to see some examples of that in the next couple of videos.